Hey guys, Toy House here, and today I want to warn you about one annoying common mistake players make in TBC that you'll want to avoid in pre-patch. Now, I remember being in a group and waiting to be summoned, when all of a sudden my group told me I'm not in the level range for the summoning stone. That sucks a lot. And I looked all over the internet for a list of level ranges for summoning stones, and all of the guides were different. There was no consistency whatsoever. So I went and tested some of the stones to see which guide was actually correct and literally none of them were accurate nowhere on the internet could I find the true level ranges for summoning stones in TBC so I had to go and one by one to all of the summoning stones and test the summoning level ranges so that you could know if you're eligible to be summoned now honestly guys I could not find this anywhere online and it took me hours to gather so if you appreciate that hit me up with a like thanks so much and now I'm gonna show you the leveling ranges for each of the wow vanilla vanilla dungeons. Now one thing to note, these level ranges are for both starting a summon and receiving a summon. Now any level can assist with a summon, but when it comes to starting the summon, um, you have to be within the leveling range, and if you want to receive a summon, you have to be within leveling range. But literally, you could be level 70, you could be anything, and you can assist with the summon. Now, to, to recap how summoning stones works, it takes two people to complete the summon, one person to initiate, one person to assist, and then that'll get that third person over there. That's really it for today's video, guys. It's really short and sweet. Uh, it actually took me a long time to put together this graphic because I wanted something cool that uh, you could, you know, maybe like download and just have handy. So as you level, you know which, which level ranges. But this is actually really handy because you, if you if you go too high of a level, you're not you're gonna it's gonna really suck when you can't get that summon. And if you're too low level, um, you know you're not gonna get that summon either. So it's hopefully gonna save you some pain in the future as you uh, go and play pre-patch, as you do dungeons like certain you know boosting. Maybe you'll you'll realize oh I can't summon the booster, the booster can't summon me, things like that. So hopefully this is helpful. I really don't want you guys to make that mistake because I was just on the other continent waiting like 20 minutes for my group to summon me and then finally when they're all there ready to summon that's when I figure out oh I'm not eligible to be summoned so hopefully that doesn't happen to you hopefully you keep this handy thank you guys so much for watching uh, don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more World of Warcraft content hope to see you guys in pre-patch and I'll see you in the next video take care